dry here? Hola, amigo. It's Herc. What you up to? Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm running some errands for the wife and kiddo. Cool, 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 cool. No doubt. So listen, man. Remember that time a couple years back we got hammered on party liquor and spread eagle? And I made you promise that if I was ever seduced by a super hot, super intelligent being of dubious moral standing who whisked me away to an exotic land, well, that you'd come and help a brother out. Uh... Vaguely. Quail bro, sis, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Oh, shit! Herc, I really don't have time for this. But, dude, you made a promise. Do you even know what a promise is? That's like a sacred pact, man. That no hey, man shit, man. Come on, get you stupid cow. Herc, look, can whatever you need wait until tomorrow? I'm gonna go with the big N-O on that, compadre, because this is one of them uh, life or death things that I sometimes get myself into through no fault of my own. All right, fine. I'll help. Where do you need me to go? Uh, well, it's a little far. Don't worry. I can get you here in the jiffy. What the fuck does that mean? Herc? Uh, what the? Look, just hold on and try not to vomit. Oh, and if you got a six-pack on you, go grab it now. Herc! What the hell is going on? Oh, no, 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 no. Whatever you're doing, stop! Fuck this! The situation is, uh, rather dire. But just head through the doors, man. I'll explain everything in a minute. Whoa! Whoa! What the...? Systems operating at 5%. What is this place, Herc? What am I doing here? Look, man, okay, there ain't always a logical explanation of these things. Sometimes you just find yourself, like, in a space station with little to no context or backstory. You just gotta fucking roll with it, man. So less questions and more movement, Nicholas, because if you don't save us, we all gonna what? die. Me? What the fuck are you talking about? I swear to God, I'm gonna whoop your ass when I see you. <laughs> Good luck. I'm so happy to see you, too. Now, I know what you're thinking. Where's my junk? But as important as the answer is to that question, we got bigger fish to fry. Firstly, let me explain what's going on. You are now on Mars. Welcome. Now, imagine my arms are outstretched to comfort you during said revelation. Why are you on Mars? To save the Earth, man. What from? An alien invasion. Yeah, that's right, man, an alien invasion. Now, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. It's not gonna be us who are doing the actual saving of Earth. It's gonna be mostly Anne. That Anne. The AI super being that Larry Parker would not stop talking about, you remember? Only problem is, man, these aliens took over the entire planet. They messed with her network, man, and she has come undone. And we need to get her back, man. So how do we return Anne to this beautiful, majestic, Earth-saving butterfly she once was? by finding energy cores and using them to power up all the terminals in the network, man. It's a simple plan, don't worry. Gotta get moving, though, man. There's a couple energy core thingies over yonder, man. I'll show you how this works. Go get them. Energy cores? Alien invasion? What the fuck, Kirk? I didn't ask for this. Look, I'm sorry, man, okay? 
you're not the only person whose life has been turned upside down for far-fetched and highly suspect reasons, okay? I mean, look at me. If anyone's a victim here, it's me, the Herkster. Now, I don't want any part of this. I just want to go back to my family. No can do, amigo. We use that last bit of juice to get you up here. Besides, if you don't power up Ann's terminals, you won't have a family to go back to. Control center restored. It worked! See? Nick, this is Ann. Ann, meet my bro Nick. Uh... Oh. Hi? Nicholas Rye, you are Earth's last hope. And me too, right? An arachnid force millions of years in the making threatens your world. But with your help, I can stop them. Yeah, Herc filled me in on that part. We turn on the terminals and restore your power and stop the alien invasion. Is there anything I'm missing here? No. Why do you ask? I don't know. Just seems pretty simple for something not so simple. You'd think there'd be more to it. No. It is very straightforward. <clears throat> Okay, man. All systems are a go. Let's get down to business. You're gonna need to be able to defend yourself out here. You see the green barrels around here? Grab what's inside them. Now, I know it just feels like space jizz or something, but this stuff is magic, Vigo. Harvest is straight from the aliens. It makes all sorts of cool shit out here. Well, you're done, man. Take some of your space jizz over that 3D printing machine over there and I'll show you a cool trick. Voila, amigo! Welcome to the place where all your wildest dreams come true. Current designs are limited. The more you restore me, the more blueprints I can retrieve from the database. You'll see when we get outside. We? Yeah, man, I ain't gonna let you hog all the glory for saving the world. This here's a partnership. Now come on, grab my head, dude. We got work to do. Man, this is not happening. Get a grip, Nicholas, because your brain's about to go kablooey, man. <laughs> across the landscape. Turning them on will help restore my functionality and help you on your journey. <laughs> Relax, man. It's just Mars, you know? Wait, 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 man. Stay off that dirt. Spacecraft, man. Shoot it. Shoot it, please. Don't drop me, man. I'm defenseless. We can't find the other energy cores unless... We power the antenna! Fuck me! I gotta climb towers now? Look, man, some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in Montana, for which I apologize, okay? <laughs> I totally forgot to mention those space crabs. They live underground. That that one's on me, man. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's my bad. You're sorry? You want to tell me what that was all about? 
Man, ain't you ever seen Tremors? These spacecraft dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way, I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me that they're gonna use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because, I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet that these little bastards are gonna be all in our face about it. you for your assistance. You may now consult your map to locate other energy cores in this area. cores unless we power the antenna fuck me i gotta climb towers now look man some stuff ain't as advanced out here as it is in montana for which i apologize okay man i, I totally forgot to mention those space crabs they live underground that that one's on me man i'm, I'm so sorry that's my bad you're sorry you want to tell me what that was all about man ain't you ever seen tremors these space crab dudes, they tear through dirt the exact same way, I'm telling you, man. I hope you got a good look, man, because they're the invaders, okay? They're the ones we need to stop. Anne was telling me that they're going to use her technology to invade the Earth and turn all the humans into food. Isn't that crazy? Exactly. Humans will become nothing more than food to sustain the arachnid horde as it spreads through the galaxy. Are you sure? Because... I mean, they don't look all that smart to me. Well, they are. These little bastards, they've been playing keep away with the energy cores so Anne can't get back online. So if we're gonna get those energy cores back, you can bet. It's working. Antenna restored. Functionality increased. Excellent, Nick. two blips right there that looks like the spot where I was attacked by a big-ass space crab I am picking up a signal from your gravity belt nearby it will improve mobility remove fall damage and allow you to reach the transference center no no way my space jets are still working dude dude my space jets are still working okay let's go find them man once you acquire the gravity belt go to the transference center what the hell's transference Transference is the future. It's plugging my consciousness into a robot killing machine like I'm at 209. Transference is the future. Yeah, yeah, we get it, Ann. Oh, man, she's been trying to make me forget about finding my human body, so I'll just get left in a robot body. But I got a good feeling, man, I'm staying positive. Engaging door lock. Please wait. Oh, dang it! Is that my hand? Well, who else's hand would it be, dummy? Fair point, man. I'm just 
not mentally prepared to accept the possibility that something really bad has happened to my childless dad bod. My scans indicate several more organic anomalies. Oh, come on, are you serious? My body's in a bunch of pieces? Oh, man, how are we gonna find them all? With transference, you will gain the ability to detect such anomalies yourself. Done and done. Here and now, another promise is made. We will find my body parts and put me back together like Humpty Dumpty, because there ain't no point in saving a world that does not include my beautiful booty. I'm happy you will comply. Transference is the future. Okay, just like Anne said, we need to find the space jets I was using. Can't get to the transference center without them. Watch your step, man, and remember, the sand is bad. <laughs> my jump. Nick. Nick! Where's my jump? Nick! You are lucky you've never had to go through this, man. Nick, I'm telling you, there is no worse feeling than thinking you found your dismembered member only to realize it's your peckerless pelvis? Come on, man! A little sympathy. Space chairs in the Ant 3D printer and anything is possible. Nonsense, Herc. With transference, you'll become something greater than man. You will become immortal. Indestructible. You will be perfect. While there is truth to that statement, I gotta be honest with you, I am on the temporary train for this one, Ant. I don't expect you to understand the joys of humanity. The pleasures of the flesh, the delights of the senses, the takings of a monstrous dumb. Come on, man. If you want me to be a cyber 
killing machine and fulfill my destiny or not. But I promise I won't. I'm gonna be a good robot, like R2-D2, but with a machine gun. Approaching Transference Center. Oh man, I'm starting to get real excited now. I cannot believe that in just a few minutes I'm gonna be a cold, uncaring, cybernetic death monster. It's gonna be sweet, man. It's gonna be sweet. <laughs> up before we can use the transference chamber. You fly like the wind now, little monkey. Monkeys don't fly, hurt. Not with that attitude, they don't. Center restored. You can now use the transference chamber. The two of you working as a team will greatly increase our chances of success. Team Tad Bros for life! Put me in, dude! Put me in!
I'd recognize that ugly face anywhere. You're the reason my wiener's rolling around the sand somewhere looking like a gigantic breaded chicken cutlet. <laughs> You did it, man! You did it! You avenged me! And my wiener! That's brotherly love, man! Now put me in for real, and don't forget to take my head. We'll need it to complete the awkward human puzzle I've become. Channel now! Don't mess up my goatee! some theme music. antenna. I've become, but don't let how impressive I am distract you from the fact that we gotta give our human compadres the heroes they deserve. We need to find more energy cores, man. I think there's another antenna nearby, so let's go. Man, that's not important. What is important is that you understand how much danger we're all in because I didn't, okay? I fucked up. I, I didn't really realize. I do impress Anne by taking care of this all myself and where to get me? I got my damn body smashed and sprinkled all over damn Mars. It's probably my fault for telling her that I was Earth's greatest champion. I see that now, but come on, man. I was, I was trying to get some. So all I'm trying to tell you, Nick, is that you can't be a dummy about this, okay? You can't be thinking you're some new hot kid on the block. You gotta stay humble, man. Stay focused. You gotta be smart, man, like old Herky. Do you hear yourself? I'm stuck doing this because I'm not I'm really, really dumb, huh? I was dumb, Nick. I was dumb. Past tense. And for like a very short period of time, I'm talking 17 seconds max. And that's way less time than most people spend being dumb, which is a scientific fact. Which means that it is scientifically impossible for me to do anything dumb for like a long, long time, man. Like statistically, that's a fact. Right? 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 Nick? <laughs> 